Anna from Wedges and Weights and today I'm going to share with you what keeps me motivated. So the first thing that motivates me I would say is the feel good factor I get from working out. What I mean by that is the buzz I get. It, it literally transforms my day. If I've had a super rubbish day and I'm feeling utterly crap, then I can guarantee however, however much I really don't feel like going to the gym afterwards, I'm gonna feel 100 times better about myself. I'll feel more positive and have, I'll wipe the day clean basically. So if you've had a rubbish day, then I'd highly recommend going to the gym. Another thing that helps me stay motivated is pictures of bodies. Now, that sounds very wrong, but I mean like like super toned, sculpted women, and I, I just think that strong is, it just looks so much better now than all these images that we used to see of like this tiny anorexic people. So yeah, I'd say body shots. There's so many of these now on Twitter and Instagram and things. I've got one here to show you um, that I found on Pinterest um, of a lady here with a super strong body. I think strong really is the new sexy. Um, whether you like reading fitness magazines, there's loads of pictures and ideas in there. So maybe print out a picture of your gold body, stick it up on your wall, and then you can see it every day before you go to the gym. So you can keep aiming high. The next thing I'd say inspires me and motivates me is inspirational quotes. Now, I know they can be a bit cheesy from time to time, but some of them, if you pick wisely, are very good. My mum actually sends me um, a daily quote, and it's off um, an app called, I just rang her to find out, um, Inspiring Quotes 5000. It has like a little picture of a flower. Um, they have one every day. It's not actually fitness related, it's more in general life life motivation really. Um, I just think if you've got a positive mental attitude then you're bound to be more positive about everything and you'll have a better workout. Um, also, thoughts of the day at Tube Stops. I saw a lovely one at Clapham North actually, so I've put that up in some corner now for you to read. So thoughts of the day. A lot of people do tend to tweet them on Twitter as well, lovely thoughts of the day. So I, inspirational quotes I'd say is a good one. Something else I think that's really important is to always reward yourself. Now I'm not talking about going in to Las Vegas or something drastic like that, but little tiny rewards like buying something new for your training kit or if you like jewellery then buying some new earrings. Because if you've got a goal in mind, you may be working towards a competition or um, a triathlon or maybe you've just got a goal weight in mind. So I think it is really important to reward yourself. When I am training hard, I like to reward myself by buying something new for my wardrobe. So at the moment, you've probably seen these in some of my videos, but I've got these little Nike shorts, which I can't get enough of. I also like to go down to Sweaty Betty, that's another one of my little hot spots. But treat yourself to something, rather than going in the fridge and eating a tub of Ben and Jerry's, which is not really going to be a good move. So reward yourself. Results. However small they may be, when you look in the mirror, it is so important to look at the positive things that are changing about your body. So even if it's like you look in the mirror and your jeans fit better, or just try not to focus on, don't look there and think, ugh. <laughs> it's so easy to do that, to look in the mirror and think, ugh, I look disgusting. <laughs> So be positive about the changes that you're making. Every workout counts. However little you do, think about the quality of the workout, not the quantity. So if you can only make it to the gym three times that week due to your busy schedule, then make sure those three times are super good, super powerful, and you're not just sat there on the bike. A key element to my motivation is also all you guys watching right now, my followers on Twitter and the whole of the Fit Fam over on Twitter. It is such a strong community. And it's so important to support each other. The tweets I get on there 
I just love it when you guys tweet me, even if it's like a little picture of your breakfast and the whole tweet what you eat tweets come through, or when you send me a little mini picture of your protein balls and things like that, then I'd say that that is one of, it's very, it's high up on my list of things that motivate me. As much as I don't actually listen to music uh, through my headphones during my workouts, I always listen to music when I'm on the way to the gym. So if I'm on the tube or the bus or just walking there, I always have my headphones in. I am a bit of a musical theatre geek, so I do like to listen to Legally Blonde, that really does get me going. If you haven't listened to Whipped Into Shape, then you need to now. But music is a key motivating factor. Music in general has the ability to trans completely transform your mood. So if I'm walking there in a, in a huffy, grumpy mood because somebody's just elbowed me on the tube, <laughs> then you can put it behind you, get in the zone, and when I walk through those doors, I'm ready to hit it hard. Last but not least is other people's amazing YouTube channels. There are so many out there. But to name a few, we've got Nyx Nutrition, who always has lovely healthy recipes and she has them, she films them in her beautiful kitchen, so you should check her out. And across the pond, there's a lady called Sarah Fit, who has great workouts, so check them out. So YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed today's motivational tip video. I just wanted to share with you what, what, what helps me stay motivated, as it's so easy to get bogged down with life and to feel like everything's on top of you. So you need to keep focused and stay motivated. Maybe try one of these yourself and create your own motivational board. Do tweet me a picture of yours at Real Hannah Mills as I'd love to hear what motivates you. So I'll see you soon and have a super positive week.